Even before the COVID crisis hit us, the Indian boardrooms were grappling with a host of disruptions. The, the COVID crisis has only accentuated the issues. However, our recently concluded CXO survey indicates that the Indian boardrooms have been looking to create resilience in their balance sheets and in their operations as they move forward and navigate this, this significant crisis. Today, we have in our midst Mr. Vineet Kapoor, who is the CEO of O3 Plus, a young and emerging company. And we'll, we'll look to hear from him as to how he has been navigating the crisis and how he looks forward to, uh, to the times ahead. So, Vineet, uh, welcome and we look forward to talking to you. So, Vineet, the first question. Uh, you are in the consumer business uh, and that to cosmetics and beauty and wellness. Uh, what really have been the challenges that you have faced in the demand side? And how are you going to be navigating those in times to come? So, hi, Sajeev. Uh, thank you. Thank you for calling me, first of all. And uh, yes, uh, you have very correctly said that uh, the market is uh, swinging up and down. And uh, during this COVID time, which is basically unknown and unseen. So, we basically took this as a fantastic learning that I have taken... Uh, uh, I call it as in my meat uh, dry cleaning of my company, which was needed and which was not happening actually. So that's one thing we did. Innovation is one thing which we all went with uh, every area, every area from a supply chain to manufacturing and then especially how a consumer can get uh, benefit about a sustainability uh, cosmetics which we got in and uh, the skincare. So that's where the great learning has happened to us. Vinay, thanks for that response. It's great to hear that you're using innovation to make sure that there is no demand slackness that your business experiences. But Vinay, there's also the question about how costs are going up of doing business. Uh, is that going to result in any margin depression? And do you have plans to deal with it? Social distancing became a part of our life. So we chose to do B to B to C. Now, B to B to C, I took it as one of the platform and I also took C to B to B. So I went a reverse way by telling my middle partner to take the technology and get your customers with our expertise. So the moment coming up, the margins could be taken care of uh, that segment of the business. Uh, we definitely feel that uh, what consumers read right now is not the discount. What they need is the innovation. Innovation of uh, usage and innovation of what we can solve their problem. So we went in and we said, okay, why not doing a wellness at home? So uh, if you are really solving the problem, that what the consumer will need in a transparency, I don't see the margins need to go down. The margins can go up for sure. Margins going down is making my product and my belief and my faith going down. So we took an innovation on uh, the reasons that why a consumer need us today. The DIY business, the uh, how they could uh, do it by themselves, you know, do it yourself kind of a thing. So nice to hear. And, you know, in some ways you're already rethinking your business. You're already thinking of uh, alternate ways to make sure that the sales don't dip. I think the DIY stuff that you mentioned, making the consumers do it themselves. I think that's wonderful to hear. And, you know, that's 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 how, you know, that's really coming something which is coming out of a survey as well, that, you know, people are businesses are going to think of new ways of making sure that the demand compression doesn't continue to hit us. And also the consumers, there's pent up demand at some level. So it's so wonderful to hear. And, you know, the, the, the part that you mentioned that you're not expecting margins to dip is also wonderful because, you know, it just goes to the point that we're not going to be losing value. We will, we will actually use this crisis to create value. So that's wonderful to hear, uh, Vineet. Just one last question from um, uh, my side. Uh, what, what big opportunities do you see coming out of this crisis? The demand and the education, the way it is growing up, there is a lot of new opportunities because when something drips down, something opens up. And what is opening up today is an opportunity. Every business has fallen down. But at the same time, D2C came, D2, DIY came. Our manufacturing process is improving not to depend on the other countries. So 
it's a wonderful thing i feel uh, we all are working on the right track all what we need to do is to boost our immunity of the company we need to see that the right talent we are looking for the talent and potentials to join us now uh, the skills have to come up get this is an opportunity for sure this is an opportunity to make your company leaner and much more wider Vinay, thank you so much for that response. You spoke to us about uh, creating resilience in your business. You talked to us about upskilling your employees. You talked to us about how you're making sure that you're, you're, you're using this crisis. And, you know, I think that's that's so wonderful. And I'm sure all our all our, all our listeners uh, will actually benefit from this. Thank you so much, Vineet, for your time. And I'm sure that, you know, we will all come out of this stronger. And the path to recovery uh, is something that we will navigate together.